This is The Culture. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Culture Wave Media Network. I am Darian Scalamoni. I am joined this time by Vinny Albano. Hello, hello. And we're talking about the new news that it's probably unfortunate to some people, but it could be for the right reasons. The Batman Part 2 is flying to a new date, and it's now moved from October of 2025 to October 2nd, 2026. Hmm. So the rumor is that the script was recently finished. But that's just the first draft even. So we Mm. might have to get another draft happening. Mattson Tomlin returns to script that film. And Matt Reeves is obviously coming back to direct the first movie. Um, It was the second best opening of the pandemic. It made $134 million domestic. It made $770.3 million um, overall, like uh, Mm. global, which was great. It's already got its first spinoff coming with the Penguin series, which we've talked about a little bit on Max. But – First time hearing this news, because I did break it to you before we started recording, and I felt like I broke your heart. But what are your thoughts on the logistical reason for the move, and do you think it's a good thing? or I mean, not anything to really over-speculate in terms of like it being a bad thing, but what do you think Mm. about the move? Yeah, so I mean, uh, realistically, like I'm such a big Batman fan. I love Batman. So it hurts having to wait longer for the Batman being one of my favorite films. Probably low-key maybe my favorite batman film of all time Mm -hmm. um so having to wait longer definitely it sucks but i think it is a good decision just taking in part that they they need time and i i want them to take their time i want them to make it as refined and restab and established as possible Uh, i also think that there's most definitely going to be a time skip so seeing a more older robert pattinson a more older batman uh, I think would be a, be appropriate for this next part of Batman, especially since I am low key speculating that they might have a Matt Reeves version of Dick Grayson show up. So you you definitely don't want to have a, a year two Batman already with Dick Grayson. I I feel like it'd be more appropriate to have him a little bit more aged up. Um, other than that. I just, you know, it kind of just sucks as a Batman fan to have to wait longer, but I think it's appropriate. I think, you know, take their time, make it as good as possible. Yeah, I think that the one good thing about uh, and the cool thing is, I mean, it is weird because this whole trend, I mean, everyone's just trying to have their own universe. And James Gunn and Peter Safran took over uh, the whole DC studios. They're called now and it's referred to as the DCU going forward. So they have... Uh, their own plans and Gunn has said it multiple times because he's very vocal on social media and he interacts with the fans, which is awesome. But he's like, Matt Reeves, this stuff is going to operate over here. It's mm. going to be its own kind of universe, its own Elseworlds sort of situation. And we're going to have our stuff over here. He did already announce in his first announcement of all the projects that the Brave and the Bold is coming. That's going to be directed by Andy Muschietti. That has no date. So that's not yeah. even dated yet. Yeah. So I think that's going to come after this. But in the meantime, before we get Batman Part 2, we are getting Penguin, mm. which we've talked about a little bit. I think that'll help maybe hopefully fulfill some of that because that is dropping at the end of 2024 i think in the fall so we're gonna get that there was the rumor for a while that he was also working on an arkham show so potentially maybe that kind of takes um he probably doesn't direct that obviously he probably produces it similar to penguin so maybe that's something that they also get as a bridge until we get to this in 2026 um the rumor is that filming isn't supposed to begin now until the beginning of 25 Mm. and i think that's a big part of the reason why this moved i'm curious on why that is um i think it's one of the one of the two stars and i'm curious because i don't think i've heard anything about pattinson Mm. it does open up his schedule now for a bit to do some smaller things which i think is going to be cool barry keoghan is obviously going to have a very big role in this oh yeah as the joker and he's got a lot of stuff upcoming. So I yes. do think that part of it might also be to work around his schedule because he might have so many other things upcoming. Um, but yeah, like you said, I think that the first movie was so great. And um, it wasn't my favorite Batman movie, but it was probably my second favorite. Um, the movie's fantastic. Um, I haven't heard anything about a time jump, but even though you're speculating that, I would love that because mm. the rumor is also that he's only going to do a trilogy. That's mm-hmm. not to mean like we can tell that there's going to be other projects throughout his version of Gotham and, and whatever. But if this is truly a trilogy, like you don't really want to have it all happening because there was you, you don't get to see a lot of like Playboy Bruce Wayne in this yeah. either, which I yeah. think a lot of people kind of want to see a little bit out of that with Pattinson. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, it sucks. It's something that you're looking forward to, but I do think the DC, um, the DC name is going to start picking up again and gaining momentum. As we've talked about a little bit off camera, Joker's dropping at the end of this year. Hmm. We have Superman coming out next year. We have James Gunn's first project with Creature Commandos dropping at the end of this year. So hmm. even there, you've got Commandos, Joker, and Penguin hmm. all this year. Yeah, and so they're also filming Peacemaker Season 2 as well. Yes, and I think he's doing yeah. that. They're, they're starting that right after Superman, right? I think they said, Oh, they're filming it simultaneously. Oh, they are. Okay, yeah. and he's not going to direct all the episodes. I did see that yeah. he said that, yeah. yeah. So they for DC fans, it's a plethora of options. There's a lot yes. of things happening. Um what did what do you think about Kyogen? Do you think it's something with him? Do you think it's something with Pattinson or and maybe the Joker going forward? Do you have a um sort of a prediction on what you think might wind up happening with him? Um so I, I feel like for the reason for the delay, I also considering the actors and writers strike as well. Um but for Kyogen specifically, I honestly and it's really hard to say because this is uh, just speculation. But I feel like the I feel like I or I feel like it'd be appropriate not to have the Joker as a front seat villain again. So I I don't know. I, I mean, Matt Reeves might take the direction where he does become a front seat villain again. But I feel like we've seen the Joker enough, and then we also have Joaquin Phoenix doing the Joker simultaneously, uh, and his his version of that. So I I don't know it might not be Kyogen. Yeah, that's it might a good point be. actually. Yeah, because you know how I mean we saw it in the first one the Joker his scene was deleted and then we just have like a very short like laughing moment between the Riddler and the Joker and we never see the Joker's face. Mm -hmm. So it might be again like another scene like that where it's like oh the Joker's in this world but never expanded upon. So may or may not be Kyogen. I, I feel like for me, I'm personally speculating on the writing aspect of it. You know, with the writer strike, they were so, you know, um held up with that. So that might have delayed them a lot. So Yeah, I think that's a fair point. Yeah. Do you have um an idea or um somebody that you're hoping to see in this universe for the villain? Because I yes. do I do agree. Yes. Um I don't know if Joker we as as great as a villain as Joker is, he's unfortunately a little oversaturated. I feel like in in pop mm -hmm. culture, he's like th there's. Th I feel like we're at a point where there's three different versions of the Joker every year. Whether yeah. it's like comics yeah. and video games and podcasts and movies and television and animation, like there's so many different versions of the Joker. Some are hit better than others. We're not going to mention Jared Leto, but um, <laughs> yeah. but but um, I'm excited to see his portrayal. There are characters that I specifically want to see. I'm curious on what you think, and then I'll give you my take. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love this because I've been speculating for so long now. Um, Matt Reeves said that he was interested in Mr. Freeze. I would love, love to see his version of Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is one of the most nuanced and heartfelt villains of Batman's like rogue uh, category. Um, yeah, I, I mean – Mr. Freeze is not really much like he borders on like almost anti villain, anti hero type because he has good motives and 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 whatnot. Matt Reeves said he was interested in him. Would love to see Matt Reeves. I would all or sorry, I would love to see Mr. Freeze. Um, I would also be interested to see a realistic take on Clayface. I know people were speculating about that. Of how maybe it might, except for being a literal shape shifting man, mm. it will be something like a guy who wears different faces of clay, like uh, almost like a Greek theater type of deal, which would be interesting. I also, I, I could be completely wrong on this, but I also believe they were saying Clayface might be the villain behind Brave and the Bold. And I know Brave and the Bold is going to be more of the uh, Bronze Age, like very outwardly comic booky version of batman that's going to be alongside matt reeves realistic noir take uh, so i don't know if that would play well but i'm betting on mr freeze that's who i want i also also i'm a big scarecrow fan and i think scarecrow fits 
right, like perfectly in this world. In this world. I would so, agree. I think yeah. the deal, and I, I do agree because I, I like Scarecrow too. I liked Killian's take on it. Yes. I do think we he does fit within that world and what they're kind of going for. I actually put out um, an article about a year ago on our site, which if you guys haven't read, we have a blog, cinemawavemedia.blogspot.com. Mike Flanagan actually pitched mm. Clayface to James Gunn and Peter Safran. And there was a rumor that he might debut in the Batman part two. That was a rumor, mm. but that's a good speculative thing too. My pick would also be Mr. Freeze because in my eyes and what I've seen through the years of Batman, besides like the animated series, like in live action, our only fucking take is Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is yeah. like, just doesn't sit well. Um, so Mr. Freeze would be something that I'd be interested to see. The thing with that is that Reeves's world is so grounded. It would be very interesting to see how he would approach a character that is so visually um, reliant as yeah. Mr. Freeze. Yeah. Um, but I do think that would be interesting. The Clayface thing is a, is a great speculation, though. I think that mm. would also be really cool and interesting to see. I mean, the Riddler was a take that was not like some of the other things that we've seen mm. um, in the past. And it made it... It's it's soaked in that in that Fincher esque sort of world, and it oh, yeah. feels a lot like the Zodiacs and the Sevens. Um, so I am interested to see how they continue on with that. Freeze would be my pick if mm. you had to cast Mister Freeze off the top of your head. Okay. Do you have anybody that you've been speculating or thinking? Brian about? Cranston. That's my pick, yeah. Vinny. That's my pick. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Cranston would be great in this world. Mm. I feel like he would do such a great job. And I do think part of it, it is kind of funny, but it's like once you saw him bald as Heisenberg, everyone was like, put him in any movie where he's bald. Because yeah. everyone like wanted to be Lex Luthor for a little bit, which I, I get that part of it too. Um, but Brian Cranston would be my choice, especially because yeah. um, he's interested in these kind of worlds. He, he's he's big into that. We, I think we talked about it last time, but like he was in Power Rangers yes. and yeah. he, he really like dives into those things. He recently was in Argyle, which was Matthew Vaughn, who's – not the same sort of vibe as a Matthew Reeves, but they have these bigger, expansive universes. Um, I would love to see Cranston, but I would also love to see him do like a mini series as Freeze too. Yeah, yeah. I feel like also they don't want to, and this is the thing I'm kind of scared with the Penguin about, is I don't want them to milk the characters too much. You know, I I think having it small, digestible, but excellent bites of these characters would be perfect. Um, so I wouldn't want it to be another or well, I wouldn't want it to. I, I'm just only speculating here, but yeah. this is one of my biggest fears behind the penguin show is that we're going to get sick of the penguin um, and that it's just going to be too much rather than than, like I said, like a small digestible bite that we got from uh, the movie. Yeah. So I think that's a fair point. Um well, the Batman part two, it got delayed. We got delayed a whole entire yeah. year. We're going to have to wait to speculate more, but we're going to start to get some updates mm. on what's going to happen with this movie. We're hopefully going to get some casting updates. We're going to see if there's any other villains happening. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of the Batman part two getting delayed to 2026. Are you guys concerned? We're not concerned. Mm. So you guys shouldn't be concerned. Who do you guys want to see as the villain in Batman part two? Are you guys excited to see this universe expand with things like the Penguin? Or is there anything else that you guys want to see in the near term from DC, the DCU, James Gunn, Matt Reeves, all these people? Yeah. Um, you guys can follow us here on the Culture Wave Media Network. You guys can please subscribe and give us a like. Let us know um, what you guys think of our content. We do a lot of stuff with film and television. We're also on social media at Cinema Wave Media on Instagram as well as on TikTok, Facebook, and on Threads. I am signing off. I am Darian Scalamoni. And I'm Vinny Albano, and I also have just one really quick question before we wrap up. Yes. Did you say that Matt Reeves, is he not returning to write this again? Because I know he wrote the first he one. He is co-writing with Matt and Tomlin. Okay. Like okay. he did for the first movie. Okay. I oh, apologize cool. that I didn't speculate that but or talk about that. But yes, yeah. he is returning for the script. So, But I do think your point with the writer strike is also a valid one. So mm -hmm. All right. we're there. Batman Part 2. Let us know in the comments. We'll see you guys soon.